here's everything to learn about general preferences in Final Cut Pro. Let's start by opening the preference window by navigating to Final Cut Pro, then preferences, or use the shortcut command comma. We'll be going over the general preferences, so make sure you have the general tab selected. First, Time Display lets you choose the time code for Final Cut Pro, which is displayed at the top center of the timeline and under the viewer. By default, the time display is set to time code. If you'd like to learn more about working with time code, be sure to check out the video linked in the description below. We can change it to display time code, including subframes. Frames only. Or seconds. Next, the Dialog Warnings section lets you reset all warning dialogs that you may have dismissed by selecting Do Not Remind Me Again. The Validate on Next Launch button lets you validate any third-party audio unit effects. These are typically validated automatically the first time Final Cut Pro is opened, so you don't normally need to click this button. Moving on, the Color Correction pop-up lets you choose the default color correction effect. These controls appear when you select a clip in the timeline. And open the Color Inspector tab in the Inspector sidebar on the top right. By default, color board controls are displayed. We can change it to display color wheels, color curves, or hue saturation curves. If you'd like to learn more about color board controls, be sure to check out the videos covering all the different color correction tools. Last, we can choose how values are displayed in the inspector controls. Keep in mind that changing the display values only affects the transform, crop, and distort controls. By default, these values are displayed using pixels. But if you prefer, you can change them to display as percentages instead. This won't change how these parameters behave, so feel free to choose whichever display unit works for you. If you'd like to learn more about transform, crop, and distort effects, we'll include links to each of these videos in the description below. General Preferences had a couple tricks you didn't know about, I bet. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Pixel Film Studios, where you can find Final Cut Pro plugins designed for beginners and professionals alike to take your projects to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I find you guilty. If you don't click one of these,